I'm Justin Mott and welcome to my home here in Hanoi, Vietnam. And if you're new here, my channel is dedicated to all things photography from the perspective of a full-time working professional photographer. And today I'm going to talk about my photography related New Year's resolutions for 2024. So let's get into it and let's talk photography. <laughs> All right, guys, I just want to start by thanking all of my subscribers here, you guys, for a fantastic year. Sorry about that little lapse I had for a few months while my house was under renovation. That was a stressful time. It was a stressful year. My dog, Pon Pon, passed away. Rest in peace, Pon Pon. A good friend of mine recently passed away. As I reflect on this past year, there's some things that I didn't get around to. There's some things I want to do better moving forward. And I also think this is a good exercise for all of you guys out there to do, whether you're an amateur or a pro. At the end of the year, take stock of what you've accomplished as a photographer. Write down what you think you want to improve on for the following year. and Just make your resolutions for the upcoming year. So today, these are my resolutions for 2024. First thing I want to do is to shoot more with a different focal length. If you guys have been following my channel for a long time, you know I'm a huge fan of my trusty Leica 35 1.4 Summulux lens. And I love that lens, and it's very native to me. It's very natural to me. However, I've been shooting with it for so long, I wanna mix up my photography a little bit. And so I've made a new investment. I've got this little guy here. I have purchased a Leica 55 millimeter Summulux, a spherical, the new version with that close focus. And so my first resolution is to use my Nifty 50 more. A nice mix of street photography with the 50. A nice mix of portraits as well with this 50. I also have a little project that I want to embark on with this lens specifically as well. More on that later as the project starts to unfold. So that's resolution number one. So my next resolution is to just go out and shoot more consistently here in Hanoi, here in my own city. Most of the time I travel for work so much that by the time I come back home, I'm exhausted. But when I first moved to Vietnam, I fell in love with Hanoi. I fell in love with the city. I've lived here for 17 years because I love going out on the streets and shooting here. And it's just something I haven't got around to doing in a very long time. And so I'm going to get out there and shoot more. And one of the ways that I motivate myself to go out and shoot more is personal projects, but it's also holding myself accountable or giving myself little assignments. So this brand new series that I launched, I'll put the episode here. You guys have given me fantastic feedback about this and we've been having a lot of fun doing this. So if you haven't seen the series yet, it's a new series where I go out in the streets of Hanoi with my wife and we show you guys something that we find interesting. And I aim to capture one picture in that episode. So we film the whole episode. It's a vlog style thing. So that has forced me to go out and shoot more. It's got me excited to go out and shoot more. And yeah, so that's one of my big things is go out in my hometown outside where it's very accessible. Something you guys should be doing as well, whether that be a full on project or just weekly mini assignments. And speaking of weekly assignments and speaking of getting motivated, I just want to mention you guys one of the benefits of being a member of my channel. It's only $4.99 a month. The cost of buying me like a cup of coffee every month. Uh, one of the benefits, in, a, in addition to the exclusive content, the early release content, is that you get access to our private group on Facebook where I give you guys little mini assignments and we do peer-to-peer -peer review and I do photos of the week and things like that. So think about it. For $4.99 a month, if you want to become a part of our little photography community, my next resolution for 2024 is to finally finish editing my short that I filmed about the last two Northern White Rhinos left in the world. A friend of mine's been working on the edit with me. We're getting close. We've got momentum. Things are going to happen. I've been putting this off too long. It's been taking too long. And this year, I'm finally going to finish it. I promise you, probably, hopefully in the first quarter of next year. The next resolution for 2024 is to finally edit a book of a collection of my work from Vietnam. I've been shooting here as an assignment photographer for almost two decades now. I have so much work here. I have a theme of how I want to edit this book together. So this year, I'm finally going to put this collection together. I'm going to start the edit right now. I'll take you guys along for the process with me as I do it, but I'm going to put together a collection of all my assignment work, all my personal work, all my images from almost two decades photographing this country. And not just sometimes, I've been doing it very consistently for a very, very long time and things have changed quite rapidly. So I'm finally going to put this together into a book So that will be coming this year. I've been putting it off way too long and I'm finally going to do it. My next resolution is to sort of jump on what I've been doing the last couple of years, but even to do it more, which is to just wait less on others and just do things yourself. I always and trying to make connections with sponsorships or trying to find the right people to collaborate with. And 
Other companies and other people tend to just let you down. Me, I'm a motivated person and I get things done, so I don't know why I wait on others so much and why I put so much stock into others and other companies working with me. I get all excited, I get all ambitious, and they always let me down. So I'm not gonna wait on them to do things, so that's the book, that's the documentary. I've been waiting too long on other people to collaborate, other people to make decisions, and I should just be doing it myself. That's how I've always got stuff done in my photography career. And piggybacking off of the book resolution, I also plan to exhibit that work as well. It's just something I haven't done in a very long time. Again, I believe on accountability, so I'm gonna set a date for an exhibition. I don't know where I'm gonna do this yet, but I'm gonna set a date, I'm gonna find a place, and once I have that body of work edited, I'm going to have an exhibition hopefully here in Vietnam and hopefully some other places as well. And I think that's a good lesson for all you guys out there too. Don't wait for that trip to start a project. Don't wait for that workshop to get going in your photography. Just do things yourself. Organize things yourself. Start the project yourself. Give yourself your own assignment. Stop waiting for other things to just magically happen in your life or other people to approve things. Just, just go. The next resolution for 2024 is to work more on my cinematography. And I want to practice that here in Hanoi. And I plan on doing that with a Leica SL2. S. I'm just waiting for a used one to become available here in Hanoi. It's supposed to happen in another week or so. I'm going to do a couple little shorts, maybe mix in some B-roll and some photography and play around with those two mediums to see if I can blend them together for like street photography and street cinematography and see if I can come up with something kind of cool there. So that kind of encapsulates all the things I've talked about. A little self-assignment, shooting more locally, and then just trying new things. And so lastly on trying new things, something I want to do is in order to try some new things in my photography. I need to shed some old things in my photography. So I'm going to try to sort of retire some of my go-to shots, or at least my go-to shots when I'm not being paid to shoot. So we all have those kind of shots that we always take over and over again, and people always pat you on the back for them. I'm going to try to retire some of those the way like a comedian would retire their stand-up routine. Again, if I'm doing a paid job, yeah, of course, I'll give them a few greatest hits. But I don't know what those are yet, but I'm going to look deeply at my work. I'm going to retire some of the shots that I always take, hopefully fill in that time that I was taking those shots with creating some new shots and trying something new with my style and developing more and changing who I am and evolving and hopefully becoming a better photographer as well. So that's a lot, a lot to unpack there. I've also got some resolutions for this channel that I want to dive into soon. I'll do a whole separate episode about that. I'm expecting an exciting year. I want to be here more in Hanoi. So that means creating more content here, shooting more here, bringing you guys with me along the way throughout Vietnam, sharing Vietnam, a place that I've called home for a long time, a place that I love, and I want to share it with you guys more. So, so those are my resolutions for the upcoming year. I'll keep you guys posted on how those come along. And I'd love to hear your resolutions for the upcoming year. And if you don't want to share it, that's fine too. But definitely take some time to write them down. It'll help you. It'll hold you accountable for the upcoming year. Take a moment and, and write them down. If you want to share them in the comments section, I'd love that. I'd love to see what everyone wants to work on. Oh, lastly, guys, I have three slots left for my Northern Vietnam Photography Workshop. Five slots total, two booked up already. That's in March 2024. I'll put a link in the description box below so you can check that out. Third one's going to be incredible. We do street photography, travel photography, portrait photography. And I show you all the beauty of Northern Vietnam. And my wife shows you all the best food of northern vietnam as well so thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to like share, and subscribe and don't forget to have a wonderful day